All right, everyone. This is uh, this is my first time using this Xbox Elite controller, and my first thing I noticed is that the uh, bumpers on the top are a lot easier to, to hit compared to the regular Xbox controller. Uh, so, just in my opinion, I, I do like that feature. On the back here, we have these uh, trigger stops. So if you play Call of Duty, you can you know stop the range of the the full range. So this kind of cuts it in half and allows you to shoot faster, or you can change it right back. So that's actually a pretty cool feature. I like that. Um, I like the bottom paddles, but I feel like the top paddles are ones that I would hit accidentally. I know I feel like that's something that you know, maybe maybe would be an issue. I don't know. That's just that's my personal opinion. But I like the way my fingers rest on the bottom paddles. They sit there. They sit there just like that when I hold the controller. So I don't have to reach or anything. And overall, I definitely like the feel of the controller. It feels nice. Uh, the joysticks are extremely smooth. But I, mean, I guess we'll have to find out when it does come out. I'm definitely going to get one. So Cool. That's Thanks, Eric. Here we have the Xbox Elite controller, and so this controller is right now completely bare. It has all these slots where we can add things to it to modify it. So we have two different kinds of D-pads right here. I'm going to come on in. This is the standard classic D-pad, and we have here the new, uh, I don't know what you call this, round D-pad. Here we have some thumb sticks. It's really easy to put on, very magnetic. You just take the pieces and you insert them on like that. Fully playable right off the bat, it's that easy. If you don't like these new Xbox One fully textured thumbsticks, then you can put on these that remind me a little bit of the PlayStation controller. So yeah, some people coming from Sony uh, would be able to better enjoy these. They're more rounded. Um, I feel like my fingers would probably slide off of these, so I don't think I would personally use them, but it's all personal preference. And then here we have uh, longer sticks. So for people who like to add um, height to their thumbsticks is a pretty neat feature that you don't see in a lot of controllers. Coming over here onto the back, we have the paddles, and these are fully customizable. You can put them, I don't even know how these things go in. Looks like that's one of them. And then we can put this other one right here. I think it's supposed to be the other way around, so that the short one goes on the top. And you don't have to put both in, you can only put one in at a time. And you can fully customize. Did I even do this right? I don't even know. Maybe that's it. The, these things kind of confuse me, to be quite honest. What Some feedback that I've been getting from some people is that uh, you might want to put these a little bit lower. So maybe have the short ones on the bottom. Oh my god, it's like building a Lego set. And I'm still so bad at it as an adult. There we go. So when you're playing, smaller paddles, bigger paddles, smaller paddles, bigger paddles, whatever your preferences, um, so that you're not that close to the hair triggers right here. What these do, by the way, is they allow you to uh, lessen the range. So notice how these go all the way down right now, the triggers. And when I activate this, they only go down halfway. And so what that does is it allows you to do hair trigger motions where you shoot rapid fire really quickly. So that's helpful in some settings and some games. So these are all fully customizable buttons. You can set them to be any of the buttons on the front. Um, do we know what the one and two does? Oh, these are for the two different controller settings. And then the bumpers are up here really nice. I actually just learned that all uh, Xbox One controllers will now come default with bumpers like these, where it's much easier to hit with your index finger, which was actually one of the main complaints I had actually my only complaint with the Xbox One controller. So that's pretty much it in a nutshell. The uh, Xbox One Elite controller, which I believe will be in stores near you for $150 flat. So if you are a gaming pro, this is something that you probably should pick up. Better than Scuff, maybe. I don't know, we'll see. Peace.